Hello and welcome to the Virtual Pipe Organ Project. In our previous uh, tutorial I showed how to set up Novation Launchpad Minis uh, in regards to Virtual Pipe Organ programs. Uh, so be a, it would be a very good idea to watch that video first before watching this video. As in this video I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on setting up your Novation Launchpad Mini Mark III with Grand Org. So I'm in uh, the programmer's reference manual. You can find this uh, PDF file online. It's freely available. All you have to do is do a quick Google uh, search for it. But I can uh, include a link in the description of the video for you so you can download that yourself. Uh, there's two key pages uh, to reference here and that's this programmer mode layout. So it's showing your uh, MIDI note values on e for each pad. So on uh, the very bottom row here, your MIDI notes start at 11 and go up to 19. Uh, second row is 21 through 29. So on all the way up to the this uh, grayed out row here which is goes 91 up to 98. Uh, MIDI note number 99 does not exist. It's uh, just a sticker there in that uh, location. A uh, quick note about uh, MIDI note number 98. I have not successfully ever got that one to program. I'm not entirely sure why that one uh, is not available but uh, I've never got it to work. So if that's something you're interested in experimenting with and you can actually get it to work, please let me know down in the comments. I would definitely like to hear how you succeeded in doing that. Uh, so for my top, very top row there, I just concerned myself with row uh, no, MIDI note number 91 through 97. And then 89 through 19 is the uh, far right blocked out row as well. And then the other thing that we'd like to pay attention to is this color palette. Uh, so these values here you would use in note on or note off values when you're uh, setting up the send information for a stop or a control. And uh, the colors you see here are for reference purposes, so they don't exactly look 100% like that, but it's a very close representation. Another thing I'm going to show you is the spreadsheet I set up for myself as a reference. So I've co copied over the launchpad layout that, you, that I first showed you on the previous page, and I just like to keep that there as an aside. And then my color guide on what I like to use uh, for controls and stops and that's when I'm setting up a launch pad. So for my foundation stops, they would be your diapasons uh, and the like. I like to keep uh, a yellow color going on them. So uh, it'll be a dimmer yellow for the off value and a brighter one for the on value. Uh, flu stops, I'll do a blue along with uh, mutations, couplers, and uh, the general cancel. I have various shades of blue that I use. String stops, I use a green. Read stops, I use a red. Uh, mixtures, I use a purple. Presets, I use a pink. And sample set launchers, I use white. And again, this is just a uh, my personal preferences. Feel free to use this if you like or experiment to see uh, what you feel comfortable using for a color scheme on your launch pads. Feel free to experiment. Uh, so now I'm going to go over to Grand Org. I have the Berea Church Extended version up and running right now. Uh, so a few things I want to <coughs> make mention here is I like to set up uh, sample set launchers on my Novation launch pad so uh, to show you that I've gone over to program settings I'm under the organs tab here 
you can see the list of the organs I currently have registered with Grand.org. Of course I've got my demo, I've got the Patea School of Music, I've got Berea Church right now that I'm working on putting to my launch pads. So <clears throat> I'm going to go into the meaty details of each of these. I know I've covered this on my first tutorial, but I feel it's worth showing this again. So for my demo set, I have it on my left launch pad. The event is BX Controller. So just switching back over to the spreadsheet. So that's the very top row and the very rightmost column where you find those blocked out uh, pads. They are used with BX Controller. So channels obviously going to be channel 1 and I have it set up uh, on my very first uh, pad on that very top row. So controller number 91. That will launch the Grand Org demo version. Then taking a look at Patea School of Music. I have that set on controller number 92. So that's the next one. And then this one here, the Berea Church Extended, I have set for controller number 93. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that you can set this up with your launch pads. And now I'm going to uh, go into a little bit more of a detail setting this up. So before you even program any stops into your launch pads, it's a good idea to go over to master controls. And I pay particular attention to this on button here. I do have this save set up on my right launch pad uh, because if I'm changing up combination settings I want to be able to quickly save what I've done and that way when I reload up the organ, everything's still there for me. And I don't have to reset up my uh, presets again. But that was just an aside. So I'm going to left click on the on button here. And now you can see the MIDI settings for the for button on. So I made sure to match this exactly with the uh, launcher that I showed you previously. So Berea Church is set for controller number 93, so I made sure that the on button is also associated with button number 93, and that's primarily for lighting up that specific pad when I'm on that uh, sample set. And now we are going to take a look over at the sand tab for MIDI button on. And those of you using launch pads, pay particular attention to this. This is very important. Okay. So when you're dealing with stops, you would just need one event for the send, and that would be uh, for the off and on values. For the on button, I do things quite a bit differently. I set a uh, MIDI event for every last pad on both my launch pads and most of them are for 9x note off okay I know I said before that the uh, blacked out pads uh, to use BX controller you can also you can use BX controller off for them if you want but MIDI note off will also work for those uh, for the send just as an aside so if you're doing things pretty quickly like I would be don't worry about it uh, you can even use 9x if you're setting an on value as well as an off value uh, for those specific pads so right now I have 11 events set uh, because there's what here so 9 by 8 is, sev is what, 72? 
Yeah, 72 pads plus an additional uh, 8 up top. So you should have 160 total events uh, if you're running two launch pads or 80 events if you're only using one. Okay, and definitely make sure that everything is assigned to the correct launch pad. Okay, and as you can see here, my 11th one is for meeting note number 22. I'm going to quickly show you setting uh, up the next one. So what you do is you click on new and then it'll automatically generate the next event. So in this case it's 12. My device is going to be the left launch pad. My event will be note off and then this meeting note will be 23. And I'm going to leave it as that. Now for my preferences with the sample set launchers once I get up to uh, 91 through 98, I will then I will set it up a bit differently. So I'm going to set the next event, and I'm just going to show you what I do for those. So again, my device is going to be left launch pad. In this case, my event I'm going to make it just 9x note uh, because and uh, my MIDI note it will be 91. So 91 drives the demo. I'm going to leave the off value at 0 because I do want my launch pads completely off when I shut down Grand Orc. So I'm going to go to my on value and I'm going to go now back to my little chart here. So sample set launchers uh, off value of 1, on value of 3. Since the demo set is not going to be on, it's going to be off, I'm going to use the off value as my on value there. So I'm going to type in 1. So that way when I go to launch Berea Church, uh, meeting note number 91 will show a dim white light there. And then same thing will I will do for the very next pad which will launch the Patea School of Music. And then finally I would be getting to uh, MIDI note number 93 which launches this sample set. So my on value there I will assign 3. So the reason why I would set it up like that is so I have a good visual guide uh, for my sample sets. Uh, which one I'm currently using. So let's say I'm done playing whichever piece and I'm kind of done using this specific sample set. I can take a look at my left launch pad, see, okay, I'm on uh, sample set number three here, which I know is Berea Church. Maybe I want to use the demo set now, so then I'll hit uh, pad number 91 and then that will uh, set up the demo set for me while turning everything else off on both my launch pads in the meantime. So I know that was a lot of information that I just gave you there. Uh, but I hope that would help any of you out there that are use Novation launch pads with Grand Org. Uh, if I there's any clarification you need on setups or that, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, join my Facebook group uh, page that I will include down in the description. If you like these videos, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.